Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to highlight some key critical factors that has everyone talking about Pinterest stock. So let's get into this brief video update here. So Pinterest in its latest quarter saw solid growth from several non-core categories such as travel and autos. Now if you don't already know, Pinterest derives nearly all of its revenue from advertisers and travel was expected to be strong, right? That's where people are unleashing a lot of pent up demand from the pandemic where they paused or delayed travel expenses. But autos was an interesting one because there's been a lot of supply chain shortages in the auto market, which has led automakers to kind of pull back on advertising because they're selling more than they have anyways. So why advertise when people are buying everything you put out on the lot? So now that they're actually spending money is an interesting development and certainly good news for Pinterest now that automakers are back into the market advertising again. Also, revenue from the US and Canada increased just 3% for Pinterest, while growth in Europe was strong at 12%, which was a little bit surprising because the war in Ukraine has caused advertisers and marketers to really pull back in that market because of all of the uncertainty. So interesting that Pinterest experienced better growth there. And then the rest of the world region was up by 42%. This is not surprising. This is the area where Pinterest has the most room to grow is in their rest of world region, which is everything outside of US, Canada, and Europe. That's where you, you could see here, they ger generated just 24 million in revenue. I mean, compare that to the U.S. and Canada where they generated $486 million in revenue. So a lot of room to continue growing this segment for Pinterest. Now, another impressive feat was that the cost of revenue of $167 million was a 6% decline sequentially for Pinterest. Typically, Pinterest has been one of those companies that has increased spending every quarter. As it ramps up, it's making investments to grow its its employee base, grow its technological capabilities. So right now it's showing good discipline in reducing spending as the advertising market has kind of held back. It's been constrained. So Pinterest is not just um, spending with reckless ab abandon. They're realizing the market is slowing down. So they themselves are slowing down their spending as well. And I always like to see this. The board of directors of Pinterest authorized a share repurchase of up to $500 million in stock. And they already repurchased $100 million worth of shares through April 24th this year. When management is buying back its stock, it tells me that management is confident in the future prospects of the company and that they feel the stock is undervalued. It's, it's a strong signal, especially when they go out and use their money to back up that signal, right? It's the strongest signal to me that management can send that they think their stock is undervalued. And I'll end with these final two notes here. And um, the company ended the quarter with $2.7 billion in cash. That's really good right now because interest rates are so high. Pinterest can earn a good return on that three billion, nearly $3 billion in cash that they have. So that can help supplement cash flow for the company. And finally, Pinterest updated its, its policy for user signups, now making it mandatory to input your birth date. That has two consequences. Number one, it's going to improve the ability to sell targeted advertising because now Pinterest will know the age of the user. But on the flip side, it may deter some people from signing up because they may say, oh, you want my birth date? Fine, I'm not going to sign up. So it's kind of a give and take here and it remains to be seen how overall it impacts. But Pinterest thinks it's going to moderate user signups to be sure. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.